this video, we will teach you how to set up a mesh network with Grandstream GWN access points. Mesh networks are usually implemented to expand the wireless network coverage in areas where wired connection is not available. In addition, mesh networks provide flexibility, redundancy, and traffic optimization. There are several different ways to manage the GWN access points, but in this video, we will use GWN Cloud as the controller to set up our mesh network. If you haven't signed up for your free GWN Cloud account, please visit gwn.cloud before continuing. Let's get started. Log into your GWN Cloud account. Before setting up the wireless mesh network, we will assume that you have all the access points that will be used in the mesh network, connected to the router or switch and upgraded to the latest firmware. If you do not know how to upgrade your GWN access point, visit our GWN Cloud video guide for more information or you can reference the user manual available in the description section. First, we will add all the access points into the network. In this example, we will keep our access points within the default network. You can create a separate network if you wish or if you manage multiple networks within your GWN Cloud account. Head to Settings, Wi-Fi and click on Add. Here, we will define the settings for our wireless network. Configure the SSID to your desired specifications. Under Device Assignment, ensure that all the access points that will be a part of the mesh network are selected. You can create additional SSIDs, such as the Guest Network SSID if you wish, but keep in mind that only a maximum of 5 SSIDs can be created under the same VLAN. After you're done creating the SSID, head to the Mesh section and enable Mesh. Other things to take note of is the scan interval and wireless cascade count. Scan interval refers to how often a mesh node will perform a scan for other mesh nodes in the area. A shorter scan interval provides the ability of the mesh network to adapt to changing network conditions such as topology changes, wireless spectrum, availability, and load balancing more quickly than with a longer interval. However, this is at a cost of increased overhead and in some cases can degrade wireless performance. If your environment is relatively stable, we can keep this value defaulted at 5 minutes. It is crucial, however, to perform a comprehensive wireless site survey prior to deploying any wireless network. Wireless cascade refers to the maximum number of hops that can take place within the mesh network. This typically applies when your mesh topology is under chain mode. For this guide, we will keep the defaulted value of 3. Now that we have our SSID created and mesh enabled, you can begin physically deploying the access points to their optimal locations as determined by your site survey. The central AP will be the only one using a wired uplink to the main network and is typically connected to a switch that is directly connected to the router. Not all Grandstream access points can be caps, so please be aware of which models are supported. Your range extenders or REs will be deployed in their respective cells and will establish their mesh links within a few minutes after they are powered on. You can verify whether your mesh nodes are functional by checking the network topology found under the Insight tab. GWN Cloud will visually indicate in the Network Topology page that the REs are successfully connected to the cap. If one or more of the access points are not showing that it is connected to the cap, you can try to reboot the access points and give them a few minutes to re-establish their links. The mesh network will adopt a specific topology based on the access point's deployment and location. This is an example of a mesh network using a chain mode topology. The REs are wirelessly connected in a linear fashion to extend Wi-Fi coverage over a long distance and in one direction. We have three hops which matches the default maximum cascade configured under mesh settings. The access points can also be deployed in a star mode topology where all the range extenders are directly connected to the central AP. This is usually implemented to provide a wider coverage. In a star mode, the maximum number of range extenders directly connected to the central AP should not exceed 4. In addition, there is the hierarchical star mode which is made of several levels of star structure. This topology is implemented to increase coverage distance in multiple directions. In this mode, it is recommended to have no more than two branches under the central AP and no more than two sub-branches. So each topology mode has its benefits and requirements, which makes it suitable for a specific environment. These are some tips to consider when setting up a mesh network using GWN access points. To learn more about GWN Mesh, please check out our mesh networking guide in the link in the description section. 
This wraps up today's video guide about GWN Mesh.